Thank you for tuning in to Snake Diet Larry's <clears throat> Powerlifting Channel. My name is Lawrence Malchef, and tonight's video is about sprints. Sprints to battle the wintertime blues. Sprints to battle the holiday season that's coming up. Thanksgiving's coming up. Christmas's coming up. New Year's is coming up. Alcohol's coming up. Gobs and gobs of cans and tins of cookies are coming up. Ice cream's coming up. All those favorite ice creams years are coming up. Pies are coming up. Cakes are coming up. Mmm, leftovers are coming up, right? All that stuff. All right, it's on the way. It's going to be here. It's coming. I've already seen commercials for it. It's, it's the madness has begun. Not to mention if you have a birthday or someone else has a birthday, um, you know, that's near and dear to you, it's going to be very, very tempting to throw caution to the wind and wind up being 30 pounds overweight by the time 2020 hits. So why use sprints? Well, there's a number of reasons. It sets you up for summer. It speeds up metabolism. It allows you a little more food. It strengthens lungs. It takes the, takes the dryness, dreariness, and depression out of winter since the sun goes down earlier and it's cold outside and that cold weather can, can affect your psyche. Sprinting will, will, will give you uh, good motivation. It will give you something every single day to look forward to, a challenge, a physical challenge. Um, it will improve your mood. It puts you in smaller clothes, obviously, if you have your diet in control. And you may have to work into a sprinting uh, routine by starting some regular cardio, but you should always, if you're going to intend to do a sprinting routine, you should, you should say within the first week, have one session where you do one sprint, two sprints, or three. And then you build on that, but you build on it consistently. Uh, you know, we need strategies to battle, uh, to battle what's, what's coming ahead, and it's time to go to war, guys. I mean, uh, you know, everything seems to be uh, on the table during the holiday season. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we can get lost in the feel-goodness of, of comfort food, but when 2020 hits and we're 25 to 30 pounds overweight, that ain't so comfortable. And I ain't talking about right now being uh, uncomfortable like that. I'm talking about being uncomfortable, whereas you get to the gym, get that membership before everybody else floods the place in another eight to nine weeks, and uh, get going ahead of the game, right? Set yourself up for success because Thanksgiving is uh, 15 days away, and uh, then Christmas comes, then New Year's, and it's just going to be an onslaught. It's just going to be an onslaught, guys. I plan on being around 245 by the time 2020 hits. Not uh, not not 312 pounds, okay? I'm, t I'm like 270 right now, 272, 273. And, uh, and, you know, my sprinting season, my training season has begun. So uh, I don't care what anyone else out there is doing. And just to let you know, I've decided that this fast that I'm going to do once a week actually is a 48-hour fast because it ends, uh, it ends after, it begins after dinner on Friday, and I re and I will fast until dinner on Sunday. So that gives me uh, 48 hours of um, of hormone, uh, of fat of fat burning hormone action. So unimpeded by insulin and. I'm trying to tell you, it can go one way or the other, and right now we are in the danger zone. So let's not fail. Let's stay up on each other. Be conf be confident. Be supportive. And thank you all for liking and subscribing. If you have if you have liked and subscribed, if you haven't, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button. It only takes a little bit, just like one of these. That's all the effort it takes in order to do it. So. Um, Let's keep it going, guys. Stay positive. Thank you for staying tuned to the channel. All the old subscribers, all the new subscribers, I hope you'll like this place, and I will talk to you later. Bye.